In today's video, I wanted to see, can I customize shoes for 12 hours? Let's see if it's possible. By reading today's title, we are really doing it. We doing it today. I will be customizing these shoes for 12 hours. Today is a challenge, okay? We'll see, we'll see if your boy X can do it. So this is the thing. I did a poll on my YouTube channel, right? And all of y'all voted. Well, some of y'all voted. But it's like at the same time, I can't really talk because I know I'm a little inconsistent to myself, so. But in 2024, I promise to be more consistent. A lot of y'all picked Marvel. So I thought about it. So that's what we're doing. We're doing Marvel, okay? Today, let's do it. 12 hour challenge. Let's go. Also, make sure to subscribe to my second channel, Kicking It With X. So you guys, we're working on some Jordan 1 lows. The first thing we gotta do is take the shoestrings out the shoe. I have no time here to wait. So I gotta get them shoestrings up out of there. After I take the shoe strings out, you already know what's coming next. We have to prep the leather. And I got the jumbo. I got the big jumbo things, the cotton balls from Target. Make sure y'all shop Target. All right, so basically what I'm doing, I'm going to take off the factory finish because we are actually painting the whole shoe. I'm talking about some very cool details. I got all up in my head, you guys. I finally got all the boring stuff out the way. Now it's time to paint. This is my idea. It's like I'm thinking, okay, Marvel character. Some people already guessed it, but I'm gonna let y'all keep watching the video because I gotta get the painting. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go. Okay, you guys, this is my favorite part. Okay, now we're about to actually about the paint. Now I showed you the colors. Now I low key and gave it away on what Marvel character I'm doing, but I'm super excited to be painting the shoe. The main thing with this, I want to take my time, but actually I can't waste no time. That's that's the thing about doing the challenges. You gotta just keep it going. All right, so I'm trying to be steady with my hands. That's why I didn't tape up the shoe. That process would have took a little longer. Basically, what I'm doing is doing light coats of red on all the parts of the shoe that I want to be red, and then basically I'm taking a blow dryer to speed up the heating process. You know what I'm saying? Because look. We on the time crunch, okay? And it look, the design I got in my head is low-key gonna be a little fire. You know what I'm saying? A little heat. I'm giving y'all heat to starting off the new year. But this is the thing. We just have to keep doing this. It's a little tedious, but we're gonna make it through it. You guys, you would be surprised how long these little two parts took. Like, it took like an hour or two just to do these two little parts. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta speed it up. And this is the thing. Most of the shoe is gonna be red. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta just keep progressing through it. You know what I'm saying? You know that saying where you can't walk before you crawl? I mean, you can't crawl before you, oh my goodness. What in the world did I just say? <laughs> okay, y'all already know, like I be messing up over my words and stuff like that, but at least I'm being my authentic self, okay? You know, I'm keeping it real with y'all. I mess up on words and intro. All right, basically what I was saying was, you gotta start from A to Z. You know, Xavier, you cannot skip painting the shoe red, even though it's tedious. You gotta paint the parts red and then move on. You know what I'm saying, you guys? So basically what I'm doing is I'm still painting the shoe red. You know, I'm speeding it up. You see, I'm time lapsing it. I'm speeding it up. But wait, wait till I do the other colors. That's what I'm saying. Just keep watching the video until I do the other colors. You know what I'm saying? And yes, I'm doing this with no tape. And did I mess up? Um, <clears throat> some guy called my throat. <laughs> a few moments later. So you guys, I had to take a break because I keep painting red over red over red over red. It's so much red. My hand started cramping. You know, <laughs> like I need a. Socks. <laughs> I'm just playing, but this is the thing about customizing shoes. It be taking a long time, you know, just to do one, like, just to do like one color. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. <sighs> but we we got to do it in 12 hours. So let's continue this thing, okay? We're gonna we're gonna need to get some water. Hold on. Okay, we're back water. in this thing. All right, we're gonna finish this up. We're gonna finish this red up so we can continue to move on. Basically, I'm doing some more red around the shoe. Most of the shoe is gonna be red, okay? Red and then a little bit of blue. <laughs> if you know what I mean, if you know what Marvel, Marvel character that is with some red and blue, you know what I'm saying? It could be Captain America, it could be Spider Man, it could be, you know, different characters, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but y'all gonna figure it out eventually. All right, as the video I'll keep going, but just keep watching the video. And the last thing is just finishing this back piece up, and then we get to move on. Okay, so slightly, I think I messed up, all right, because I was thinking about it. Should I really have painted the toe box? And then as I was starting painting, I was like, yo. It ain't no way I just did this because I really didn't envision it to be like this, but it's on there now and I'm not stripping it off and time is already ticking. So you know what? I'm gonna roll with it. We're gonna roll with it, baby. We are gonna roll with it and I'm gonna just actually just do the whole toe box red. Like I said, you guys, no turning back. You know what I'm saying? There's no turning back at this point because we're doing it. So basically I got an idea. I'm thinking about doing the character's face on the toe box. Now, if you know the character's face, put them down below right now. And I think I gave it away because of the colors. But it's okay because I can't really spoil it just yet. You know what I'm saying? But basically what I'm doing is doing the character's face on the toe box. 
when i tell you this worked out so perfectly i ordered some stuff from amazon and it came the exact day i was doing this challenge i'm so excited but this is the thing i was trying to like open it up and my knife it was just messed up so i don't know why i'm even yo yo you look you look a little too crazy with the knife x you're not michael myers brother chill out relax Okay, but I ordered some paint here, you know, words back is paint for another project. Then I ordered um, some GAC 900, whoa, X. Chill out with the knife, buddy, dang. I ordered some GAC 900 and some more colorful paint, and I got a lot of other cool things too in the packages. I ultimately feel like the shoes are missing something. So, these paints right here, we're gonna add some shadow work. We're gonna add something different. You know, we gotta add some details. At the same time, I don't want this shoe to be boring. I wanted to have a little Spider-Man, Spider-Man. That was kind of corny. Oh, that was corny. Oh my. Finally, we on to a new color. We on to this true blue, but this is the thing though. I was thinking, should I use true blue or should I use regular blue? It all depends on his suit. I'm trying to get a suit 100% correct. Now, okay, the catch is out. All right, you guys, I'm doing Spider-Man. Okay, if you didn't know, I'm doing Spider-Man. You know, shout out to the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I had to do it. He's one of my favorite Marvel characters, okay? So basically, I'm going in the middle. I'm doing this blue, and I got to do a couple different coats, okay, you guys? I got to do a couple different ones, only because we want this blue to, like, match his suit. And then I got another idea, too, on how I'm going to, like, like, do a, something different, too, to add a little pop, add a little twist to it, you know? I'm going to tell you exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to do the Tom Holland suit okay y'all know his suit far from home at the end with all like the red and blue he got the new suit when he went to new york i don't even want to go down a rabbit hole i'm a big marvel fan if you don't know i'm a big marvel fan but this thing i wanted to match that suit that's what i wanted to go for so basically what we got to do is we got to do multiple coats i got the blow dryer out here basically i'm trying to just speed it up speed it up man this blue is actually looking nice you know and look i'm doing this all freehand too no tape no nothing you know I'm, I'm trying and even though i'm slightly messing up here and there i'm be honest i'm an honest man i mess up a little bit here and there but the time is ticking we rolling we gonna try to get this thing wrapped up in 12 hours okay all we gotta do is just finish this other half and then we get to move on okay this is the thing it's very tedious and i think the time right now i think we about like six hours in you know, since we got about six hours left this is crazy okay after i laid down the blue i thought about something look we got to clean up these raw edges. You know, we have to clean it. Now it looks good so far, but it only looked better if we would clean up the raw edges, especially where it's white at. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take these detail brushes and clean this up ASAP. Guys, I had to stop because I'm getting hungry. You know what I'm saying? So we about to DoorDash me some food. Where is my phone at? So I can DoorDash me some food ASAP. DoorDash. I need it. Oh, wow. Whoops. Hold on. Retry. Come on now. Time is running, I need some food. No, that was the last time. Firehouse, Jimmy John's, what should I get? Jimmy John's Firehouse. Honestly, we're gonna go with that. Firehouse subs, and I just placed the order, so let's get it. I'm hungry, man. I can't keep painting shoes if I'm hungry, okay? Shoot, and I got none in the crib, none in the refrigerator, so I need some food. Where is my DoorDash order? Come on, where you at? Where you at? I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be that patient. George is approaching with your order from Firehouse Subs. Let's get it. We're excited. Who, who else gets excited when they're hungry? This guy. He's in the chat. Throw him in there. When I tell y'all I'm tearing this sub up, it's, it's, I'm tearing it up and I can't wait to finish this and get back to the shoes. I gotta get back to the shoes because we timed. After I ate that sub, we got straight to it. I cleaned up all the raw edges. When I mean clean up the raw edges, basically I took my paintbrush and went in and just went over the spots that were still white. All right, this is the next thing we gotta do. We gotta do the swoosh. We gotta do the inside of the shoe. And we gotta just, we gotta add more details to it. And we, we own it, you know what I'm saying? We own it. Cause I gotta add webs, I gotta add all the cool stuff. Let's do it. Okay, so basically I'm going in, I'm painting the swoosh black. Cause I think painting the swoosh black it's gonna just bring it all together, you know, more of his suit. Because if you look at his suit, his suit is red, blue, and black. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, the black I'm using is just a regular black. I didn't have flat black here, which was kind of surprising because I thought I usually have every colors. But at the end, when I spray it matte, it's gonna give it a matte look anyway. So I'm really not too worried about it. So I'm just trying not to mess up. I could have taped this part, but I skipped that because I was like, come on, 
me taping this part, it would have threw it off. I would have spent more time. I'm trying to preserve time. I'm trying to really get through this. You know, I'm trying to see if you can, I can really do this. All right. Taking a blow dryer. I love the, if you don't use a blow dryer, customized shoes, what are you doing? It helps speed the drying process. But I would say this, if you get a heat gun, don't do it too high. I actually messed up a pair of shoes. It like melted the shoes. You know what I'm saying? All right. Another thing I saw is the raw edges. We got to clean it up. Now y'all peep that. That looks way better. That looks way better than before. Cleaning up the raw edges would do it every single time. I ultimately feel like the shoes are missing something. So these paints right here, we're gonna add some shadow work. We're gonna add something different. You know, we gotta add some details. At the same time, I don't want this shoe to be boring. I want it to have a little Spider-Man, Spider-Man. That was kind of corny. Oh, that was corny. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I just did that. I'm sorry, my bad. Okay, so then I thought about it too. We just don't want to keep it plain. We want to add some more details. So basically what I thought about is adding some shading, like some different color shading to the shoe. So that's why I got this scarlet red. And I'm glad it came from Amazon. And as y'all gonna see, basically what this shading is gonna do, it's gonna bring a little bit more effect to the shoe. You know what I'm saying? So basically I got a darker red and I'm just like going over to small details of shading. You know what I'm saying? And a little bit of, we're gonna do Spider-Man. We gotta do it right. We can't, we, we cannot have step this, okay? So we're not gonna do it. As y'all can see, that looks cool already. You know, it's like a shadowy type of look, you know? And I'm basically doing it on both parts of the shoe. And I'm adding a shadow look for the blue as well. Okay, so after adding the shadow work, look, it looks cool. I, I try to tell you, I have the thing mapped up in my head and it looks cool as it comes out. Now y'all let me know right now in the comment section, do y'all like this or not? Or should I just, should I just kept it playing? You know, I don't know. But I like it. I think it's cool. I think it adds something different. But now we got to add the webs. You know what I'm saying? I thought about it. Adding the webs will be easy if I use a Posca marker. You know? Posca marker. A fine, thin Posca marker. That would do the trick. And it's going to be easier than doing... Look, the detail work with the paint brushes to do this, that would have been too hard. So let's make it easier. You know what I'm saying? Look, look at the line. Smooth. Hey, if you need to do small detail work, go get your Posca marker. It will, it's the best thing ever, you know? It's as far as detail work is concerned. And it will hold up because I'm gonna spray the acrylic matte finish at the end and it's gonna be good. But look look at the webs. Yo, this custom. Shout out to any, shout out to everybody who said do Spider-Man because honestly, I didn't think I could do the webs, but then I thought about it. I was like, look, just you just gotta try it. Just try it out. And it looks super, super cool, you guys. I like it. Just by doing this right here, I think I'm gonna do it all over the shoe too as well. Um, it's just, man, it's, it, it's, it's, this is gonna pop. I'm super excited even doing a voiceover right now. Like, man, this is cool, this is awesome. Okay, so we added those cool little details, right? Now it's time to actually add some more. You know, we got the webs on there, that look good. We got the shading on there, that looks good. But now we gotta add like the tongue. We gotta paint the tongue, we gotta paint the jump man. We gotta paint the inside of the shoe. We gotta just do a whole lot more things. Water. Big jug too. I need it. Okay, I got my water. Now it's time to make some fabric paint. We're gonna use this Angelus paint and this GAC 900. We're gonna mix it together and it's gonna make us fabric paint. We don't want the inside of the shoe to be stiff, hard, or nothing like that. Whoa, hold on. Pause. Pause, pause, pause. Okay, this is the thing. We just want to keep the fabric soft, all right? So that's basically why I'm using the GAC 900 and I'm going in. I think painting the tongue blue Gives it another cool, I think it really is gonna tie it in. And then I'm thinking about adding some red, and then I'm thinking about adding some like some black to it too. You know what I'm saying? But basically I'm just going in, coloring this tongue blue, not really like brushing really too hard, just keeping it, just make sure the paint gets on there. Cause this, this is the thing, fabric paint, it actually spreads out really thin and really good. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to do too much. And I'm really using a steady hand here. Now, a lot of people ask me, maybe like Xavier, how do you like how do you not like mess up this is the thing i do mess up but i just learned over time like how to like i don't know how to finesse it how to finesse the paintbrush you know what i'm saying and no i wasn't the biggest art person in like school nothing like that all right and this is another thing too so i use my detail brush i'm going in i'm painting the jump man red i think just painting the tongue blue painting the jump man red is cool all right adding the gat 900 needs some more fabric paint 
I'm well, mixing that up. Mix it, mix it, mix it. You honestly, you're supposed to use a 50 50 ratio, but I'm winging it because I'm, I'm really almost out of time <laughs> at this point. Like, I'm out of time. So, basically, what I wanted to do is add this right here, add that red, and then we're gonna go in. Now, you see the other part over there? We're gonna add that black, and that's what's gonna really tie this whole thing together. I did not want to have to do this. I wanted to really give y'all a Spider-Man custom. A lot of people have asked for it. So this is the thing. I look at all the comments. I look at all the things that y'all send me. You know what I'm saying? So I took y'all's suggestion and I went with it. All right. So now we actually gonna mix up. We're gonna make some black fabric paint, GAC 900, black paint. And then I'm about to go in and actually do like the more of the inside of the shoe. Now I think this right here is a cool little thing that we, to add on, you know, because basically it's just tying it all together, you know? I don't know. I keep, feel like I'm talking too much, but let me know if y'all liking this so far. You know what I'm saying? Comment down below. Are y'all liking this? Are y'all really messing with the custom at this point? Because I got to add one more thing. You know what I'm saying? I got to add one more thing, and I think it's going to really bring this thing all really together. All right. So, next thing up is his eyes, his face. Remember what I said back then? You know, back in early in the video? Like, I was like, look, we're going to add his face here. Yes, we are. So, I got my airbrush. I did my stencils, you know what I'm saying? And basically, and it's easy to do stencils. You guys, stop buying stencils if you can make them. Just invest in a machine and then just make stencils. I can actually show you. I actually have a video showing you how to make stencils. So we're doing a couple light coats, you know, got that done. Then we're going in with the marker and then we make a, we basically painting like the outside of the white black for his eyes. Okay, so we basically gonna use the black Posca marker because it makes this so much easier. I'm trying to tell you, look, if you are doing detail working on shoes, I was kind of opposed to it at the beginning, but when somebody put me on to the Posca markers, it really changed my whole like design thing, you know, customized shoes because it makes it so much easier. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm taking my time because I don't want to mess up either. Because if I would have painted, the paint would have like got in, but it would have just messed it up a little bit. Then I had to go over, paint it back red. But this is how it looks. Hold on, we're taking it off. Slow reveal, slow reveal. <laughs> Yeah, because this is the thing, that tape, low key, it will pull up the like paint I had on there. So I don't want that to happen. So that's, look, wow, that's clean. I ain't gonna lie, that's smooth. Okay, what well, the last step we gotta do is apply this Krillon matte finisher. And look, you guys, this is gonna turn out sweet. Look at that, the final results. Man, I'm, a, I'm proud. Okay, I didn't really complete the challenge, but it's okay because the shoes still came out dope. I really like them. I like the Spider-Man whole theme of the shoe. Shout out to everybody who said do a Spider-Man shoe. So you guys, there we have it. Spider-Man custom Jordan 1. Thing, I read the comments. A lot of people want to see me do a Spider-Man shoe and I did it. Hope you, hopefully enjoyed it. Hope, hopefully enjoyed today's video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.